Thank you, Rudy. So much happening at the city and county levels tonight. It's worth bringing in our political analyst and commentator, Otis Sanford, to give it all some context for you in tonight's one on one. So, Otis, what is in a name? Rudy's reporting <laughs> says the most contentious issue tonight wasn't whether to build a center, but whether the word detention and juvenile should be used in the name of the new facility. Uh, it's going to be Youth Justice and Education Center. What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with calling it the Youth Justice and Education Center. And I, I would really like to hear from Brandon Morris and Mark Billingsley as to why they feel it's absolutely necessary to keep detention uh, in the name. You know, uh, many years ago, uh, mental uh, facilities were called a lot uh, less pleasing names. Uh, we have the Correction Corporation of America who run prisons. Uh, I don't see a lot of corrections going on there. Why don't you call it the Prison Corporation of America? I just think that uh, I have no problem with calling it uh, and leaving detention out of the name at all. Well, now let's talk about Memphis Mayor Strickland's State of the City address. He's proposing two new ways to jumpstart private development. You heard about it in the Nets report. Mm -hmm. There's this $2 million catalyst fund and also a website highlighting abandoned properties the city would like to see developed. Either one of these excite you or is it just political gamesmanship in your mind? How would you describe it? Oh, no, I, I, I see these as very positive steps uh, to try to infuse some more capital and infuse some more business uh, and development opportunities uh, in the city. Um, I think these are fairly innovative uh, initiatives. I think the mayor is on the right track here. Uh, if it can be used properly and, and get the money where it needs to be in the communities where it needs to be, um, I think the mayor is on the right track and it's probably going to be a good campaign issue for him. Briefly talk about the politics involved with the mayor's <clears throat> address tonight. Uh, not just the content, he talked about poverty down 17%, mm -hmm. he talked about 18,000 new jobs, but also the location of the address mm -hmm. tonight in Whitehaven. Well, Richard, this was a, a speech and a whole event about symbolism, but also about substance. The symbolism was uh, having the event in Whitehaven. Whitehaven's one of our largest communities. It is a huge African-American populated community where African-Americans vote in fairly high numbers there. Uh, so the politics of that was, let's roll this out uh, in Whitehaven and give a little love there. Uh, but uh, the substance, I think, I thought was strong. I thought he came up with a lot of good initiatives. Um, I do question, though, that 17% drop in poverty. Uh, somebody at City Hall is going to have to substantiate that a little bit more uh, tomorrow and in the coming days, because I'm not sure that that's true. Does seem like a rather quick drop in that number. All right, thank you very much, Otis. We'll talk to you later.